Okay, so um, Leo, some of you guys are thinking um, thinking about things in an imaginary way, um, unrealistic. Some of you guys are thinking in a manner in which reality and your consciousness are not syncing together. So there might be some kind of illusions going on within your thinking thought process this month or something around you is creating confusion within the mind, um, lack of clarity, lack of um, understanding of something. It looks like you might be thinking about how do I get clarity? How do I see beyond re the, the illusions, beyond what I, what you, Leo, may see? Uh, because it, you might as well be thinking really deep this month and just really trying to figure out what's, uh, what's an illusion? What, you know, how do you fit? How do you, how does, how does your mind uh, process work? How does it fit in? And how are you manifesting things within your life? So there's a d deep thinking here about some kind of illusion, illusions in your mind. Uh, the next card we have is you guys might be traveling this month physically, and it is the month of December. Um, this is when a lot of people travel. So you guys might be traveling. Um, and in this traveling, you may find some clarity. You may find your path uh, towards a direction in which you are really meant to take. And this direction and this path may become very clear to you. As in the beginning of the month, um, it's there. Like I say, there is some kind of illusion, uh, you know, confusion or illusions that you need to really find yourself to find your way out of mind you're looking to find a way out of that and by traveling this month um, that may bring you the uh to a new path in life or a new direction a new clarity a new destination you may just find what you're looking for for some of you that, that even if you know that's even if you are traveling it still has to do with finding clarity so um you may learn something new or discover something new that's going to really open you up and give you that clarity that you're looking for. Um, and I do see that like some of like, if you're not traveling this month, it's a matter of traveling, finding, finding your, you know, just through your mind and finding that, um, finding that journey, finding yourself on a new journey or finding yourself taking a new journey, finding yourself beginning a new journey or the clarity on which, you will be taking a new journey. And the next card we have is rebirth. So yes, absolutely. You're feeling like you're rebirthed with this new insight, with this new path that you're going to be taking. You're going to be feeling um, a new, like a new person. You're going to be feeling like you're like, like you've always wanted to feel, or, you know, um, you may be feeling like you've changed that this, this, this life path of yours that you're this new travel, this new destination, this new journey you're going to be on. It's really opening you up to, to become a new person to become maybe the person that you, um, knew you always were, or, um, you're just feeling comfortable in your skin. You're, be, you're, you're feeling very alive and, um, happy and it's creating a real rebirth in your life. And we have the outcome and the outcome is transformation. So this is going to lead you to a very profound change in your life. And you're going to find yourself in or transformed, transformed or beginning the process of transformation. So every step within that journey, every step within that rebirth, every step within this new you um, is going to be a beautiful journey and a positive way of being. So, wow, a lot of you guys are going through some new, uh, life path, a new change, some clarity, and you're finding your identity. You're finding a, a different person within yourself and it transformed crazy. All right. Uh, let's start your reading. The beginning of your reading, Leo, it looks like there was some kind of, of, of separation between you and another person. And this person, it could be anything from family member to work situation to a love relationship, whatever. 
but there was some kind of separation that you have had in the past or recently. And it looks like you or the other person is having a hard time letting go. It's like you want to hold on to that person or that situation. It's like you don't really want to say goodbye to it and just set it free and start a new path in your own life. So it does look like that has a lot to do possibly with this, you know, lack of clarity, this, uh, beyond this illusion or beyond illusion. You're, you're not having a clear, um, clarity yet towards your new path. And this card is all the five of swords, six of swords is all about going to going on a new path in your life. Um, and this travel card is all about taking a new path. So, you are going to be taking a new path and in this new path that you're going to be finding yourself on is a beautiful journey and you're going to find yourself in, in a beautiful new uh, place in your mind, body, and soul. So once you get past, or if this is you, Leo, once you do move forward or let go, you know, sometimes we have to let go, forgive, uh, forgive and forget. Um, even if it's hard, um, even if we have to just, fake it till we make it. Sometimes we just have to say, I forgive and see how it feels and try to really mean the forgiveness. I mean, let it, let it happen. Um, that will help set you free. That will help you faster to move forward on your new path. But regardless, you guys are going to be transforming. It says it all right here. So it's either you, Leo, or somebody else. They're having a hard time letting go of an old situation, old way of being. It doesn't even have to be, have to do with a person. It could have to do with your own self. You're having, maybe having a hard time letting go of a way that you used to live your life that, uh, you know, affected other people as well. But this is a new journey and you guys are getting ready to go. And as soon as you get this beyond illusion, as soon as you um, see beyond, you know, what sometimes we'll, well, whatever we see in front of us isn't really what's going on. It's just what we sometimes our minds are focused on our, we're, we don't know any better. So we don't really see a bigger picture. And this is the time where you're going to be transforming. So it's a godsend um, that, that you're going on this new path. Okay. It's a godsend that you are being trans sent on to a new, uh, a new, a new journey. The card that's crossing you is the four of cups. And this could be a challenge for you this month. It could be an obstacle. And yeah, this is a little bit of an obstacle because this card is all about being focused and it's being focused on focusing on it's being, it's you're focusing on, I mean, this is you, Leo, you're focusing right here. You're focusing on what makes you fulfilled. What makes Leo happy? What's going to make you the happiest? What's going to fulfill you? And you definitely are being, are focusing on that but you're, but you're not finding the answer a hundred percent. Okay. So again, maybe that's why you're having a hard time moving forward because if we don't really know what satisfies us or we don't really know what's going to make us happy, um, if we don't know our life path or if we don't know the next life, life, um, path that we need to take, then sure. You know, sometimes we're, we're not going to be able to, open our minds to it and we may stay focused on something else. So this is the challenge for you is to continue to stay focused, but in a positive way and also be open, stay focused on what you need to stay focused on, but also be open within your mind and allow yourself to say, Hey, this may be hard to move forward in, in life. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm open and I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to the universe and I, I'm open to possibilities and I'm you know, wanting more out of life. So you guys are going to be getting, you will be getting this clarity. You will be getting this cup right here that's being handed to you. Um, you just have to wait till the clarity comes. Um, and it is going to come for you this month for sure. Obviously it's right here. You are going to be feeling this rebirth once it hits you. So maybe in the beginning of this month, you're not feeling it right away. So in the recent past, we have the lover's card. This also could be a Gemini that you were dealing with. In the recent past, you could have been uh, dealing with a Gemini. Um, this is about self-love. This is about passion, romance, um, a relationship even. Uh, just finding, it doesn't have to be a relationship. You have to be finding love in, an, in a special interest that you have or something to do with love. But there's definitely been a love in your life in your recent past. 
Maybe that's what um, you're having to leave. Maybe you're leaving this love relationship. Maybe there's something else going on here. So the next card we have, what's coming in for you is the Knight of Wands. This could be um, another fire sign. So it could be um, another, uh, you know, it could be a Sagittarius. It could be another Aries. It could be an Aries or another Leo. It also could be yourself. You could be all of a sudden taking action now, um, moving in a very forward action. This could be a male or female. Again, it could be you as well, Leo. Um, this is somebody that is ready to take action and they're moving forward because they know what they want and they know how to get it um, and they, they're just going for it. So somebody's going to be going for it this month and moving forward and they're coming, they could be coming towards you or that's you going towards them or going towards what it is that you love, what it is that you want. The next card we have is the uh, six of wands. The six of wands is in reverse and this is in the position right now of what you should be focused on. And you should be focused on the six of wands, which is there seems that to be that like you're feeling that as if you're not being acknowledged, you're feeling as if you're not winning the battle or, or you're not, you know, you feel like you're not being acknowledged or you're not having the victory that you want and you're not having the, you know, the attention that you just, you feel you deserve because you feel like you need to, you know, you want to win, you want to be successful, you want to have victory. And People will follow you when you have victory. They'll, they'll, you know, it's something that people will root you on. But right now, maybe people aren't rooting you on. Maybe you're feeling left alone, left out, or you're just not feeling acknowledged by other people, or maybe they're not really paying attention to your success. This card, it will be turning upright, which is what it's wanting you to focus on continuing whether people acknowledge you or not. Um, it doesn't matter. You don't always, we don't always need other people's approval. To be successful, by the way, we do not always need other people's approval to feel successful and to be successful. Once we, um, you know, let go right here, let go of something from our past, uh, maybe these, the, the person um, that you're leaving or the situation that you're leaving, they didn't see or recognize you for um, something that you were doing. Um, it's okay. It's just saying focus on yourself, continue to focus on victory, focusing on success. And once you do have this clarity or take the action you need to take, um, you are going to be rebirthing and transforming. So um, continue to stay focused on success just because it's not being acknowledged. You guys, the advice is saying it doesn't mean you're not going to be successful. You are going to be successful. Otherwise, this card would not be here. The next card we have is the five of cups. And this is in the position right now of what you guys should be striving for. I mean, what you're wanting, what you want, what Leo wants, what you're looking for. And it looks like you guys are looking for a relief. You're looking for, um, you want to let go of depression or loss. Uh, again, it's, this card goes very well with the um, six of swords. You know, you don't want to be, it's like, you don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be stuck in disappointment for, you know, thinking and feeling disappointment every day or, you know, every hour or however often you feel it. You don't want to feel like you're disappointed. You don't want to feel like you lost something. So you're working, you obviously are wanting to break free of any um, feelings of loss and despair that you may be feeling or being stuck because this card is all about being stuck, somebody being stuck, unable, not being stuck, but having a hard time moving on to the new path. So once you accept that, um, you will let go of any um, loss because there's no loss once you accept it um, and, to, and, and accept it and let it, let, it, uh, let, it, let it work it through the course. The next card we have is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is in reverse and it talks about how um, you guys may be feeling the need to take a break. You may be feeling the need to uh, take some vacation, take some time off for yourself, uh, take some time to relax. So maybe you've been overdoing it, worrying or thinking too much about this situation, stressing you out maybe. Um, 
there is a need for you guys to take a break. So this card is all about taking a, va a, a vacation. Um, and it's it talks about being overly stressed out, overly worried, and that can cause exhaustion. So just to let you guys know, um, definitely take a break if that's what you need to do. Take a break from the worry. Take a break, break from the loss and the sadness and the disappointment. Because if you take a break from that and step back, as soon as you do that, you guys are all going to be traveling on a brand new life path, on a brand new journey towards a destination that is going to make you very happy. You're going to be a different person. You're not going to be the person you are. You were. You're going to actually be a rebirth within yourself. You're going to be a totally different person because you're going to be on your life path and path at this point. You're trans and you're going to be transforming, trans transformed. But right now, this is illusion. So there is some kind of illusion that you may be stuck in. So once you get that clarity, ba bam, um, you won't have to need a break anymore. You won't have to feel exhausted. You're going to be refreshed. The next card we have is the moon card in reverse. And somebody around you or in your environment, they may be uh, hiding some information from you. Um, they may be... trying to reveal some information to you. Um, but there may be a need for, there may be somebody around you that also is causing help, you know, is, is, is creating confusion um, or disillusion because they're not, this person around you, whoever it is, or whatever the situation is, they are not um, disclosing or, sharing some truth or some there's something being hidden so it's possible that that, that that's also why there's a little bit of uh, illu dis, um, illusions going on around you um, and maybe why you're d having a difficult time moving forward because maybe they're hiding something for, from you uh, the next card we have is the strength card this is in your hopes and fears and it's in reverse so I think a lot of you Leos are afraid or having some fear that you're not going to have enough strength to control your own destiny or your own, you know, emotions and feelings and that you're not going to have the strength to move forward or let go of that loss or, you know, worry or, um, let go of the disappointment from not being acknowledged. So I think some of you guys are afraid that you're not going to have the strength to move forward. Um, but again, clearly you will. These cards are all talking about a new path and a new direction. And the outcome is seven of pentacles. Wow. So the outcome is you're really going to be analyzing your life. By the end of this month, you are going to have uh, all the information you need to, to review your finances, to review uh, whatever it is that you spent a lot of time in with the situation, um, within your life, whether it be work, whether it be relationships or emotional. Um, but you're going to be really analyzing and deciding where are you going to go next? Where are you going to spend all your, um, money, all your time, your devotion, um, energy? Um, are you going to continue to go into what you're doing now? Um, or are you going to take, are you going to take a new path? Are you going to, are you going to do something new? Because right now it appears that you are in an illusion. There's some kind of lack of clarity that you really need in order to move, to take this pivotal point in your life. So you can get this, so you can see things in a different way. So you can see your life path. So you can see your new journey. So you can see the rebirth that is about to unfold within you and this passion and desire that's coming in. Um, you know, maybe this is, this is, there's a new passion, a new love within yourself. Um, so anyway, by the end of this month, you guys are going to be analyzing and deciding uh, which way you want to go forward in your life path, in your journey, in a situation with your finances um, or whatever it is that you value truly that, you know, you spend time with. Okay, you guys, um, I'm going to pull, uh, I'm losing my voice. Sorry about it. Um. So let's go ahead, guys, and I'm going to pull uh, the Sacred Oracle Rebel card from Alan Fairchild. Alana Fairchild, what is the final outcome message and advice for our Leo for this month of December? 
What is the outcome for them? What is your advice? inner trust and it's number two so this talks about letting the true leo letting the true leo unveil itself to the world and to yourself um this is called page 30 and this is card number two like i said so let me read this to you though it may be cloaked and hidden within you lies natural magnificence vibrancy and true uniqueness the harder it is for you to believe the more growth this oracle is offering you now your opportunity for growth lies i'm sorry your 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 opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you this oracle brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition and your own sense of things. Sometimes what we sense will be love and you will open your heart and move easily towards the source of that love. But it, it is in the form, I'm sorry, be it in the form of another person a new career path, a project which you care deeply about and want to pursue, or a spiritual or creative practice that you are keen to explore. Sometimes what we sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It might be that you sense fear or sabotage lurking within somebody's intentions or in the situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you have, okay. So yeah, it's time you guys to trust yourself and have some faith. Because you are on the verge of a new direction, starting something new here. And that new path, that new direction, that new journey, that new whatever it is you're going to be doing is really going to rebirth you into a new person and a new way of thinking and a more authentic you because the rebirth cards here and you're going to, you're going to rebirth your, you're going to unveil yourself, your true self to the world. 